Uh, sorry about the cold. But a few days ago, I went down to downtown Manhattan to take some uh, photos and shoot some video. And uh, I was looking back at the footage when I, uh, when I came back home after that day's event. And I noticed that I had recorded some things I didn't intend. Uh, like right about here, at the, looking at the top of the bridge, Brooklyn Bridge, there's a little black dot. You can see it a little better over here. <clears throat> Turns out that was a person. When I got closer to the bridge, I saw a big crowd of people, and I walked over to see what they were all looking at. And as it turns out, there was a man up there, standing right on the edge. You see over here, uh, the police officers and the helicopters were, you know, getting closer. They had to close the bridge for almost, what, three hours for this guy? And, uh, I didn't have my zoom lens, so I couldn't really see what he looked like. And I felt kind of strange recording this whole thing. Because if he had jumped, I'm not sure I would have taken the photo or recorded it on video. <clears throat> Everyone there had a camera. So I wasn't the only one. <coughs> Excuse me. But over here you see the cops going up to meet him. Talk with him. And uh, everyone was just waiting. Everyone was waiting down by the bridge to see what was going to happen. More police officers came. And it was just a really eerie sight. I mean, by that time, I kind of figured he wasn't going to jump. Because he was really talking to them for a long time. And, uh... I've seen enough of this that this guy probably he was gonna come down he was gonna be taken down led down uh, you see how the flag is blowing it was kind of windy that day so that was a little eerie uh, they're fixing the bridge Oh, I heard some kids saying that he was going to survive if he jumped down. He was not going to survive. That water is... It's like the Mythbusters. And uh, I went away for a little bit. Then I came back. And he's still standing up there from this shot. You see him just standing there. But this is about, what, 30-something minutes later? They finally talk him down. There's a huge cheer in the crowds. And if you could see over here, he's like walking down really gingerly. I mean, for being someone that was that close to death up there, he was really taking his time walking down, like really small steps, small steps. I don't know if the police were telling him that or he just was afraid of falling. <laughs> <laughs> 